now we're going to get to a very, very important uh, phase of our program. And I'd like to invite Richard Posner and Richard Burke and our guest of honor, Mr. Earl James, to please come up. Is this, is this good? I asked to talk, and I, when, I, when I learned that Earl was going to be here, um, those of you who know me or know, read some of the uh, stories, I, be, I became a pretty good fencer in my life. With, uh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, says Earl. This man taught me how to fence. He also taught me the love of books in our novels class. And through both, he basically taught me how to think. It helped me go a very, very long way in my life. And it's, it's a pleasure to stand here with um, my maestro, who used to say to me on the fencing strip, you have all the skills in the world. He wrote in my uh, yearbook, he said, you could get hot-tempered, he said, you could do a lot of things, but you could fence. Now you, learn, now you have to learn how to think. <laughs> and, once I learned how to th and once I learned how to think, I, I was on my way, not just in fencing or in college, but in life. And to that, I owe to a great teacher, and I thank you, Earl. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, when I was in uh, Earl's English class, of course, like many other of the students, I was uh, inspired and enlightened and entertained. A couple of decades later, when I taught high school English, I was astonished to find that I was actually channeling Earl. Uh, we didn't have window poles in Long Island high schools, but I would walk up and down the aisles of my classroom on top of the students' desks and uh, do strange recitations. And so many of the things that Earl did to inspire me, and I hope I entertained and, and possibly inspired some other students. So as it came towards my retirement, I felt sad. I said, I never really got a chance to tell Earl, you know, what he did for me. It's so sad, you know. And, um, gee, I wonder how long he's been gone. And then I, then I, found, then I found Marty's webpage, and not only was Earl still alive, he was having more fun than I was. So I am. Really, really thrilled that it's been possible for me to tell him uh, how much he shaped me and my career. And uh, if I've done anything for any students, it's genetic. It's through Earl. And we thank you very much. Does anyone have a window pole? I wrote a rather formal statement, but just the window, Paul, I want to get straight. In the classroom, on the ceiling, there seems to be a footprint. Then they painted. They painted the whole room. They painted everything. And the ceiling was clean. I couldn't, I couldn't allow that. <laughs> and also in teaching journalism, it's very important. How to write about that, make a story. And so I took my shoe off, put it on the end of the window ball, and got a footprint back on the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to read something that I wrote. What do I hold up? Right there. Yes. Oh, okay. Thanks for inviting me to this reunion. Incredible time between a hurricane and a national election. But anyway, I accept the invitation. I accept the honor. But I accept it alone, not for myself alone. Of course, I deserve it. <laughs> but for teachers everywhere. <laughs> Teachers, <laughs> including my colleague, who both, some of them you may, may remember. Teachers are being attacked all over today. 
And it's especially important to remember us, teachers. Were we teachers, us teachers? Which one? Us, okay. We taught. <laughs> we taught Not only in teachers. front of the classroom, which I hardly ever went to, <laughs> but as human beings who played a hopefully important role in your lives. Teachers have many roles. Instructors and in subjects, advisors in various extracurricular activities, coaches of different sports. No, that's the, that's the coach. <laughs> that's the sport. And most important is friends. As I look around here and I recollect what you wrote in your emails to me, I see the results of so many roles you gave me in your lives. You graduated from high school. Well, some of you did. <laughs> you became sports stars, especially fencing, of course. <laughs> you became lawyers, doctors, business detectives, writers, poets, even teachers. Everything you wanted. And sometimes just what came along. But finally, judging by your presence here, you have great memories of Far Rockaway High School, which I share. And Far Rockaway High School, you remember your teachers, your experiences there, and what they mean to you. So honor goes not only one way to me, but to you. Students who influenced me as much, perhaps even more, as, you did, as I did you. Without your approval, I might never have put on my rather fanciful performances. I did that footprint for my journalism class. I tried as much as I could to make my classes as interested, even full of fun. When you succeeded, I did. I tried to relate to you as best I could in the classroom, in the chat office, in the fencing strip, in the halls, in the cafeteria, even in the streets outside at rallies and protests. But they played a vast part. They made in my job. They made teaching an enjoyable profession. Perhaps some of you don't believe it, but it was. And you did it by your spirit, by participating in the learning process. I thank you. We're still alive, Earl. Okay. Yeah. Thank God, Stuart. <laughs> Mr. James. New York. We have for you. We have for you a little uh, chachka for your wall. <laughs> a little chachka. From the class of 1962, presented to Earl Jagus. You didn't just elevate a shoe to the ceiling. You elevated our love of literature. You elevated our writing. You elevated our expectations, you elevated our self-worth, and you elevated us with laughter and a touch of rebellion. Thanks for opening up all the windows. Here, here. Thank you. Photos. 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 Photos in the middle. Short people in the front. 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 Short 